Here we are at Con Expo, and uh, what we're going through is we're doing a demonstration of our Pitbull 26. So right now we've already faced off our pipe, so we're going to go ahead and walk you through the fusion process on this Pitbull 26. We're going to go ahead and start our heat soak. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our heater and make sure that it's good and clean before we put it in there. And we're going to go ahead and begin our heat soak. So right now what's happening is we are very slowly applying heat to both ends of the pipe. We want that pipe to very slowly heat and really soak into the pipe ends. And we're going to wait until we get a bead, a melt, coming away from the heater. At which time we will go ahead and remove our heater and start the fusion process of allowing it to cool under pressure. While we're waiting for this to heat up, let me point out some features to you guys. One being a locking cam system. What this does for us is it allows the carriage to stay in a locked position without us having to constantly hold and apply pressure. Looks like we're starting to get pretty close to our bead here. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to open my carriage and when I do these bars on top here that we call the stripper bars are going to come in contact with our jaws and it will strip the heater away from the pipe ends. Once the heater is removed from the Pitbull 26 carriage, I'm going to visually inspect my, inspect my pipe and what I'm looking for is a nice clean, flat, glass-like finish. And as long as I have that, I'm going to continue with my fusion process of applying pressure and allow it to cool. Both ends look flat and glass-like. I'm going to apply pressure until both of the beads roll over and touch the ends of the pipe. Now with my cam lock engaged that I pointed out early, I can release the pressure and my cam lock is going to hold the pressure on that. And now we're going to allow, now we're going to let the pipe cool under pressure for 11 minutes per inch of wall thickness. 11 minutes per inch? 11 minutes per inch of wall thickness. So the wall here is what we're worried about. And then once that joint's completed, I can move on to the next one.